Hi, this is a basic program to interface an LCD with uh, PIC Micro. Uh, to start off with, we'll have a look how to wire an LCD up to a PIC Micro. To do that, we'll take a look at the ISIS development suit. Just open up your simulation software and the third file in. Okay, just put your mouse over the LCD and then scroll in. As you can see, the LCD has many pins. There's four on the back here, which are for the data bus. There's an enable pin, and that's connected to RE1 on the PIC Micro, and an RS pin that's connected to REO. Uh, there's some other connections as well for the power supply and what have you. If we go to the PIC Micro, you can see that the data bus is connected to RD4 to RD7. And here we have the RE0 and 1 pins connected to the terminals. So we'll go back to the program. Okay, so first of all, we've declared the device. That's a 16F877. And the crystal speed is 4 MHz. Changed, changed the, uh, the settings so that all the analog features of the big micro are turned off. And here are the important things for interfacing a LCD with Proton. Basically, Proton needs to know how to send data to the LCD. To do that, you have to tell it where the data bus pins are connected, where the RS pin is connected, and where the enable pin is connected. LCD interface defines how many lines or how many pins are connected on the data bus. In this case, we're only using four and LCD lines is how many lines the LCD has and LCD type defines whether it's an alpha or a graphical type LCD display in this case it's zero for alpha now defining some variables bar one and bar two uh, both of them are declared as words so that they can ca uh, contain values from zero to sixty-five thousand ish uh, I'm randomizing the random table to the center of the table using the seed command delaying the program for 100 milliseconds so that the LCD has time to power up and then I'm going to send the CLS command to the LCD and that clears the display okay this is just a label like a bookmark bar 1 and bar 2 are now filled with random data after these two lines and they'll have a value from 0 to 65,000 ish. To print the data to the screen, use a, the command print at for alpha displays. And the first number here is for the line, and the second number is for the character number. To send any type of text to the screen, you can just put it quote like put in quotation marks and then enter your text. To put additional information like variables and, and other things to the LCD, just comma it and then for variables you need to put some sort of modifier for example if var1 contained the number 200 and without this modifier I was to send that to the LCD screen it has no idea what the whole value 200 means because that's all it's going to receive it's going to think it's some sort of command or or something random it doesn't know what it is so to send it in ASCII format so that the number 200 is now sent for with the actual ASCII character 2 and ASCII character 0 and ASCII character 0 you have to change or give it a modifier and to do that you give it the modifier decimal uh, putting a 5 or any number to up to 9 after decimal will change the number of characters that are sent through to the LCD every time. In this case, 5 means that no matter what var1 contains, I want it to send 5 characters through to the LCD. I'll give you an example of that soon. Uh, sending the var2 information up is just going up to the second line, with a very similar format. And then I've got a delay of 2 seconds and a loop to keep doing this over and over again. So we'll compile this by pressing F9.
as you can see there are no errors okay we're going to open up our simulation software the third board in and as you can see our program is now running uh, it's displaying five characters every time no matter what value it receives wait for a number less than 10,000 to come up so you can see that it simply puts a zero if there's no value or no number to put in front of it there we go okay so I'm going to stop that simulation I'm going to change decimal 5 to decimal 4 for bar 1 and for bar 2 I'm going to change it to decimal 2 so now bar 1 is always going to display 4 numbers and bar 2 will always be shown with 2 no matter what I'll press F9 to, com to compile it go back to my ISIS simulation circuit and press play to re-simulate the program zooming into the LCD as you can see bar 1 has always got 4 numbers or 4 characters and bar 2 has always got 2 characters there's plenty of other modifiers out there and opening up the help file in Proton is a very useful tool to do that just go to the help menu click on help topics and type in whatever it is you wish to set most of the LCD information can be found in with the print command so type in print hit list topics scroll down and find it and inside you'll find a wealth of information and examples on how to send data to graphical LCDs and further down to alpha LCDs there's even a wiring diagram to display how to wire a uh, PIC Micro up to an LCD, both the graphical and the alpha. Hope this has helped someone.